Peace, peace, peace. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know, it's your boy Vic Slain Hope, and I got another video for y'all. So I'm going to play the clip real quick, and then I'm going to come back with my commentary. I pay attention to how men who are married deal with me at lunch. If he's flirting with the server, he's flirting with whoever, he's checking out women walking by, and he's checking out whatever case may be, that's a tell to me. If he's willing to cheat on his wife, no, Matt, it's just, he's, it's just looks. It's, but the looks, it's the beginning of it. Right. You know, looks is the beginning of it. So you got to discipline your, your, your eyes, your heart, your mind, because the eyes are a portal to the soul. And if you look at girls left, right, and you're breaking your neck, snapping your neck, looking and checking women, and you're married, there's something wrong with that. Because yeah. if you're willing to do that to your wife, what about me? What about next time a competitor tries to woo right. you in the relationship that we've built, you're trying to unwind that? To me, that was already a tell. Hmm. And uh, again, I probably just gave up my sick sauce, but uh, that that's one of the things I, yeah. I pay attention to when I'm having business lunches. So, boom! I know he didn't necessarily say anything about snitching, but the title of this video is, if he cheat on his wife, then he might likely be more prone to, to snitching on you, right? <laughs> and I know some people are gonna disagree and go crazy. I made a live about this like a little while back, but I want to be a little more intentional this video and have a shorter version. Now, if you listen to what this brother said, he was talking about basically like a character defect when you do some of those things, right? When you when you have a wife and you're at a business meeting and you're just looking at girls, especially like he said, breaking your neck, like doing all of that and saying it's just looks. And he mentioned a few important factors. Like one, it shows disrespect for your wife. It, like it just kind of shows a little bit of who you are as a person, right? Because for the most part, most people try to portray that their marriages are going good, even when they're going bad. Like they try to like, you know, act like everything is all well and dandy. So you doing that, it doesn't really reflect that your marriage is bad, but it just looks bad on you. So you look bad as a person, as a married man doing that, right? So it might lead people to be like, what's up with this dude? Um, another thing, it shows that you don't got no control, no discipline. So why would somebody want to go into business with you? If you seem like you don't have no control, no discipline, and no loyalty to, to your wife, right? So that so he broke down that it gives a, a, a number of things to think about, right, as far as this person's character. Um, another time I was in the room on Clubhouse, and, and people were saying, like, you know, if he'll cheat on his wife or he'll do his wife dirty, if he'll dog his wife, then can you be trusted to not dog your mans? And to me, honestly, most of the men who I know who were out there cheating on their girlfriends or their wives, they had major character defects, right? And when I would kind of like ask them, like, yo, why are you even doing that? Like, does your shorty know or do you like, I don't like to be in people's business, but sometimes I do ask. I'll be like, yo, what's going on? Like, what's up? You know, and you know, sometimes people will say, oh, they, they know it's an open relationship or whatever, whatever, whatever. But like I said, when I started thinking about, when I watched this video and, and other conversations I had, I started really thinking about the people who I know was cheating, right? And what was their character like? And I tend to notice that there was a correlation between doing that to, to, to your wife, right? Somebody that you chose to marry or that you must have felt some type of way about this woman because you married her, right? And then now you, you're doing her dirty for whatever reason. Now, some people might say, like, yeah, that don't mean he'll cheat. Um, it's this different, you know, it's street rules or it's this rules. But at the same time, I, I, because, the reason why I say you never know is because for you to dog somebody who, who, who let's, just, let's just say the wife is a good wife. Right? And I've seen men do this to good women, right? Let's just say the wife is a good wife. She takes care of her business. She, she does what she has to do. Um, for the most part, she's what he wanted for the most part, right? So and maybe he's just out there looking for excitement. Let's just say that, right? The whole point is this. For you to be, I, I don't hear stories of men like bringing back home STDs to their wives, right? Or just doing some wild shit, getting other women pregnant. Like just doing a lot of wild shit. And when I think about like you dogging the woman who might have had your kids at home, she take care of them, she take care of your home, or she, she does certain things for you. Like for you to just dog her in a certain way, then you would dog me, <laughs> right? It might not be the same way, and you don't necessarily got to snitch on me now. Like, so this is why, like, snitching is just, you know, it's, it's like, I guess, the heightened offense. or again, or, But you can line me up, because if you're a greaseball to your wife, you could be a greaseball to me. It, it could be with money. It, you could set me up. Most shit is over money. 
with men, right? Money and girls. You could either line me up. You don't necessarily got to snitch on me. But you could set me up to lose money or, or worse, to get killed. Um, or you could even tell on me. Or you, you could do other things. I just think it screams of character defect when you just so openly about it. Most motherfuckers that cheat, they try to cheat on the low or, or in discreet ways. Or they do it openly around their mans if their mans is probably with it or they're probably cheating too. So this brother is talking about like when I'm doing business with a person. So so he's not even saying like we friends, like we buddy buddies. He's saying business meeting. I will assume it's not like some buddy buddy shit, right? Business meeting and if, if you show up, you just breaking your neck looking at other girls and you just don't care. You married. You ain't got no shame, no discipline, no nothing. Then, like the brother said, man, you 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 looking real shady. <laughs> so, I don't know what y'all thoughts are, man. But let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section. I think about it that way, right? That's why I don't care. Like, like certain people, we got to pay attention to certain people's character defects and character flaws. For example, some of us have friends who are very comfortable coming around us talking shit about other people, all right? I think Fabulous says something like this. Don't tell me who came talking about me. Tell me why they so comfortable telling you, right? And that's some real shit. Like, a lot of us might have friends that every time they come to us, they talking about somebody else or they love spreading other people's business. What you think this person gonna do to you when y'all become enemies or when y'all have a little fallout? Because y'all gonna have a fallout. Most of the time, you have fallouts with certain people who have certain character traits. So what you think this person that continuously comes to you to talk about other people, what you think she going to do to you or he going to do to you? And then two, why you think, why makes us, what makes her or him so comfortable coming to telling you? Because you must be a type of person that indulges in that. Even if you're a person that don't talk, right, and just listen, at some point you got to be like, yo, like, I don't really want to hear all that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, no, I ain't trying to, I mean, I, I'm not trying to have my mind on other things. Like, or change the conversation, change the subject. Sometimes you got to tell these people because they'll keep talking and talking and talking. But that's another character defect you need to pay attention to. Another thing is, if you got a person that, a man that likes setting up dudes or like robbing people, you know, Sometimes you gotta you gotta look at that like bro this dude has a character defect, right? Like you cool with just taking from people's mouths, right? Like you don't care. Like I get it at some point when we was younger or whatever, or, or sometimes you know you go get a lick because you're trying to get on your feet or whatever. I'm not justifying it, but I could understand if you did that shit like once or twice out of desperation, because desperation can have people doing a lot of things. My whole thing is, if this is your livelihood, if you just like, you like the thrill of robbing people, right? You like the thrill of lining people up, setting them up, and doing certain shit. You gotta ask yourself, why do I continue to chill with this person, one, and two, why do you continue to think that this person is a good person at heart when they're doing certain things to people? Major character defect. And this shit goes with so much shit undercutting people. If you're in the business world and you have a partner who is used to undercutting people, he's used to, like, he's just, I mean, the business world tends to be like that, right? It's just focus on yourself. It's dog-eat-dog -dog world, right? So it's like, I get it. Sometimes you got to do that. Me, personally... I don't want to be around certain people who who think like that. I know when we resort back to the laws of human nature, it is what it is. But if we're not in dire necessity situations, I really don't want to be around certain people who are moving like that, who are undercutting people. You know, not not because they need to, but because they just they just develop this this habit of doing that, right? So, I'm just telling y'all, man, you you got to pay attention to how people treat the people who they so-called claim they love, who they so-called claim they care about. You know, because I just feel like if you really care about somebody or you really love somebody, you wouldn't be dogging them. So imagine if you're interacting with a person, you don't really love me. You don't really know me for that long. You get what I'm saying? But then I hear or I see that you're dogging the people that you love or the people that you claim that you care about or you're not doing right by them. It tells me something about your character. You know, it tells me like, I don't know, man, something is, is not right with this person. You know, so I wouldn't dismiss that. I also wouldn't condemn him for it. But I would definitely watch behaviors 
of some of these people, right? Like like the brother said, the people who who be stepping out and looking around, knowing that they're married. Um, even though it's just looks, but he said looks is a window to the. It, it starts with looks, man. That's why in, in, in Islam they always tell us to lower our gaze, you know, because if you're not constantly looking at that. It, it, it doesn't get past to, to, to arouse your desires and all of those different things. But let me know what y'all thoughts in the comment section. Do y'all think this is a valid point or do y'all think it's not? Let me know y'all thoughts. Peace.